Alright guys, and we are back. We are back doing some more comedy. I'm your host T. I'm Tasha. And uh, welcome to the Adventures of TNT. Now today we're checking out Bill Burr and it says he ar he's arguing with his wife about Elvis. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting because we just did a reaction to Elvis, which was stuck on you. Yeah. Yeah. And I was mesmerized by Elvis and his dance moves. Oh, yeah. Dude had the moves. Oh, yeah. Like, like the moves like Show Jagger. Show me some moves, babe. No. Definitely not moves <laughs> like Jagger. <laughs> definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> the complete opposite. But anyway, and let's no go ahead. No hate to Mick and, uh, Jagger, you know. <laughs> but it's not the same. Well, let's go ahead and check out this video and uh, let's hear what it's all about. See what they arguing about. Let's go. Now, I love Elvis. Okay, he fascinates me. He's like the first rock star with the power of television. They just intersected, and he went to this, this he ascended to this level of fame that no one had ever been to before. <laughs> Hence, he made all the mistakes. Kind of there was no one there to help him out, right? He got a piece of shit manager that stole from him. Bam! Ooh. He stopped making music, started making shitty movies. He's not a good actor, right? Does that. Married a minor. Started doing oh. drugs, got fat, got an entourage, got even fatter, started wearing onesies, doing karate kits, splitting his fucking pants, nobody's saying shit. You look good, King. You like that? You like when my royal balls hang out? We love it, King. Keep fucking going. Like Starts doing pills, gets addicted, he fucking dies alone on a toilet. Whoa. Right? I didn't know he died like that. Yeah. Dang, yeah, did you know that? Yeah, yeah, I knew uh, for a long time. Yeah, oh, he died on the crapper. Wow, that is so sad. Yeah. He didn't deserve that. Yeah. I mean, nobody deserves that. You well, know. I mean, you go, you gotta go, you go. You know. Oh. Both ways. <laughs> That's why he's telling the jokes and you're not. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> this man kicked open all of those fucking doors for the rest of us. Mm. Right. So I sit down. And I'm watching this documentary as a white dude, which is what I am. I'm looking out my white head, watching this white shit. It's coming back into my white eyes, getting whiter by the fucking second. <laughs> right? Now, my wife, on the other hand, she's black, right? Now, I hate saying that because it makes it seem like I'm going to start doing some stupid comparison jokes. You know, those dumb white guy, black guy jokes. And you know, it's always like the white guy's like, oh, Jesus, I gotta, I gotta do my taxes. Can this chair hold me? <laughs> the black guy's always like, you need to loosen up. You gotta relax, man. You just gotta let it happen. <laughs> <All right. laughs> it's always the same stupid fucking joke. I hate those jokes, you know, because they're easy. And it's been my experience that it's just not true. You know, 15 years of being with her, there's really no difference, you know, because at the end of the day, it's a woman. <laughs> All right. It's going to be the same fights. I don't give a fuck who you're with. I'm not going to lie to you. There might be more head movement and hand gestures with different races of women. Possibly an index finger jabbing at your forehead, whatever the fuck that is. But at the end Hell of the day, no. it's the same fights. What's going on with us? Do you need to work on this? Why don't we communicate better, right? So she starts watching this shit as a black person, right? And she's seen all the racism, obviously, that I'm seeing, but she was catching all this subtle shit that I was too white to see, but I knew I was missing it, because I just kept hearing her huffing and puffing, just sitting next to me being like, <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, okay, somebody did something. I don't know what just happened, but I don't think that was good. So right when I, right when I didn't think it could get any worse, it couldn't get any more uncomfortable between the two of us. This fucking white dude comes on who evidently discovered Elvis. And he's like 100 and fucking 90 years old. And he comes out and starts talking. He's just like, well, uh, basically, uh, I was looking for a white boy that could take the down and dirty, nasty blues and combine it with the pristine, angelic oh. sounds of bluegrass. Oh. Yeah, that's what he was doing. He was suddenly putting black shit down here oh. while he was propping up the white shit. You know, oh. the down and dirty, daddy not sticking around, drug-infested neighborhood blues with the Jesus is white as me, hair the color of the sun, angelic bluegrass oh, playing shit. music, right? <laughs> So at this point, my wife has like fucking steam coming out of her ears. Hell no. So I make a judgment call. I, ju I just fucking shut it off, right? And she looks at me. She's like, why did you shut that off? Why did you shut it off? I was like, because you're about three minutes away from yelling at me like I produced this music. <laughs> All right? 
Let's just, just, just forget it. We'll watch something else. She's like, no, why can't we just watch the rest of this and then discuss it afterwards? <laughs> It's like, it's, I don't fucking I just want to watch a documentary. I don't want to have a fucking lecture because of these fucking assholes. I didn't do anything. I'm just, I'm just sitting there watching TV. And not to mention, we're just, we're just going to get into an argument. She's like, well, why would we get into an argument? I'm like, ugh. All right, you know why? Because not for nothing, there was some black people in there saying some shit that I didn't agree with. You know? Oh. I'm not huffing and puffing. <laughs> yeah. I said that. <laughs> Like a fucking idiot. <laughs> and she just looks at me, she's like, like what black people? <laughs> like what black people that said what? And at that point, it's like you started the luge, right? You can't get off the fucking sled. <laughs> now you gotta have the argument. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, here we go. Guess we're having this. And I'm like, all right. All right, the black guy who brought up leg shaking, saying Elvis took leg shaking from us. It's like, really? Leg shaking? No, nobody oh. thought the. To, to fucking do this? <laughs> Black people came up with that? You're telling me that? I'll even give you that. Let's say you came up with that, but where did that black dude learn how to do it? Mm. Didn't he watch some older black guy do it? But what, because he's the same color? He, he, he's not stealing, he's mm. just carrying on the tradition. But if Elvis does it, oh, what the fuck? Now he's the biggest thief ever? That doesn't make any sense to me. She goes, no, you idiot. It's not about the leg shaking, okay? It's, it's about, he appropriated a culture. Mm. He took all the music, he got all the money, got all the fame. He's called the king of it now, and he never gave a shit, not even a shout out. And I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Like, oh, we gonna have this about conversation. seven or eight good points there that I can't refute. <laughs> he, he appropriated a culture, I get it, you're right. She goes, fine, thank you. And I go, however, <laughs> not for nothing, do I get mad at you when you get on a skateboard and you start going down the fucking street? Do I get all offended like, hey man, that's some white shit. Stop appropriating my culture, man. Some dirty white kid in Santa Monica came up with that, man. So she starts oh. laughing. And I should have stopped there, but I'm a comedian. Right? Oh. I'm like, oh, I'm getting a laugh. There's got to be a bigger laugh. So keep going, Bill. Let's come with another example. So I'm like, yeah, do I get mad at you when you fly from LA to New York in under six hours? What? She just, yeah. <laughs> oh. She just stares at me. She's just like, that was oh. fucked up. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, that's it. Wait, wait, wait. I don't get it. Fly to New York to LA in under six hours. I mean, because who invented um, airplanes? Oh, God. White people. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, so she's flying a plane that's like. She's riding on a plane. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, so this is hilarious. I, I, love... I mean, I, now I feel like I need to. I, what, I go feel... look up Elvis's leg shaking? No, not. <laughs> <laughs> or no. see who invented leg shaking? No, I don't. I don't know. Like leg shaking is not an invention, but it's yeah. a very, um, a very tough and sensitive subject yeah. that is very funny. And um, doing Elvis, it does bring on that conversation yeah. because I did ask you, was he? Um, the king of rock and roll, and you said arguably, arguably yeah, you know, and so because um, growing up, you know, I've I've always heard the the discussion or arguments that Elvis he stole his music, his moves, and and stuff like that, and I've heard people argue against it. He um, stole whose moves? Because um, you just said his moves. Yeah, well, people would say that there were different artists. Uh, that were dancing around mm -hmm. the times. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people talk about James Brown. I, I just recently read something today in which somebody was saying that him and James Brown were friends. Mm. Um, so, you know, the conversation, it, it can go very deep, but something mm -hmm. that I noticed uh, recently was when I Googled uh, for a picture of Elvis when I was doing our thumbnail for the video that we did, mm -hmm. um, there is this, and, and it's even in the thumbnail. Maybe I can... Well, I'll, I'll probably no, try to look, look it up. It up. I'll, uh, well, all right, let me see. Yeah, this, this is a learning lesson for all okay. of us. Yeah. <clears throat> so when I was Googling Elvis photos for the thumbnail that I did, I seen this. And uh, I was like, yo, who does that? Uh, Michael Jackson. Yeah, exactly. 
I mean, I see that is part of the conversation we were having, right. and so we'll definitely dive into it a little bit yeah. deeper in our podcast. In our podcast Every tomorrow. Friday we have not tomorrow, tomorrow Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. So every Friday we're we're going to talk about the music that we've been reacting to. Yeah. And I think this is a very interesting topic because uh, this is Elvis standing on his tippy toes doing a pose, and this is also and something that's with been the very, white socks, right? And the with black the white shoes. socks and the black shoes, and, and that's something I that mean, Michael Jackson has always yeah. done, but nobody's ever called him out for it. Ooh. Even even for me as a kid, when you see Michael do that. Yeah. You know, you would be like, like he was he, the first one. Yeah, he, was he a, invented it. Yeah, he was cool. He was the first one to do it. But mm -hmm. as we all know, Michael gained inspiration from a lot of people. Even the moonwalk that wasn't right. his. But people oh. were like, oh, he's the king of the moonwalk. There Wait, were, there were breakdancers and stuff that were doing. He, they taught him how to do the moonwalk. Oh, I didn't know. Ooh. Yeah, even but but the majority of Michael's moves were inspired from James Brown. Mm, well, so, I knew that, and yeah. so that's what happens. Um, artists they get inspiration from other people. Now, when you're stealing, um, I think that's when it becomes a problem. Yeah. Like you say, I invented this, um, but I don't think he's ever know, said that I, I, exactly. And right. so, um, definitely, I'm gonna do more research so we can have an in depth conversation. Huh. Um, but I really like how. We can laugh about things because I know it can get like really touchy and yeah, um, and especially it's always, when it comes to right, music right. and culture right. and things like that. So uh, keep a, the comments lighthearted, yeah. um, please, and um, we'll discuss this more in our TNT podcast. Yeah, absolutely. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, have all your notifications turned on, and even if you don't get a notification, search for the podcast on right, Friday. On the and uh, T actually made a playlist of all the songs that we're reacting to right. uh, this week as well. So it's definitely going to be an interesting conversation, so you don't want to miss it. Right. Find us on Discord to keep the conversation going. And uh, find us on Patreon so you can right. see all the block videos that YouTube doesn't want you to see. Because apparently our videos are too hot for YouTube. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll see y'all next time. Peace. Ta-ta. <laughs>